Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for Thursday. Thursday after the Fed, we had kind of an interesting opposite day uh, kind of thing happening. If you're surprised to see an aggressive taper in the market rally, as I was, then um, I may have an explanation for that uh, just ahead. So how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Oh my goodness, we saw uh, those bulls really surge yesterday with an aggressive Fed. Kind of an interesting thing. Um, I believe it may be the first time I have ever seen an aggressive Fed where they're going to increase the um, pace of the taper, looking for three possible interest rate increases next year. And man, oh man, we're buying it up. We love it. We love this thing. So big push yesterday um, in the Dow. We ended up holding this gap. As you can see, we kind of came down, tested. We ended up holding in this area. Big surge yesterday. Morningstar type pattern setting up in the market. And now we're looking to gap through this price resistance in the chart. But can we sound the all clear? Well, I'm not sure yet because we've seen this pop through before and then turn around and fail. And we also have to remember that anytime we gap big in the market, we run that risk of a pop and drop pattern. So be a little bit careful here. We just got news that um, European Central Bank is also increasing interest rates. So we have an interest rate increasing environment to uh, fight inflation now the question is will that slow the market um, kind of an interesting dynamic here that we're seeing the market rally strongly into the intention that the fed wants to start pulling money out of the system so kind of a um, an interesting um, setup so watch that closely if we can continue to hold these supports if we see some follow-through buying this morning and we certainly could we could see a short squeeze continue to be triggered today trying to push us through to the upside so keep a uh, keep an eye on that. Now, if we open up here, we have to officially say we have broken that downtrend to the upside and we have created the higher low that sets a possible upside trend. So watch that carefully today as we will likely gyrate around. And remember, we have a quadruple witching this weekend, which is likely going to keep that price action challenging through the end of the week. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY, my goodness, SPY is looking for a gap up new record high this morning now the question is will it be able to hold up here will it be able to push through that top right there and hold up here looks like the possibility does exist there is lots of bullishness coming into the market this morning breaking through that resistance so watch this right here there's our upside trend that we have now established and we still want to remember when we break a resistance in the chart we still have to prove that that resistance can hold as support. So you wanna be careful just diving in headlong this morning in case we happen to catch that pop and drop or if we pull back to settle in and consolidate this big move over the last two days. Well, one one afternoon and a morning pop, I guess I should say, hardly two days. Um, but we do have a bullish look in the market here this morning. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ also showing that bullishness here this morning, but unfortunately not quite enough to break through resistance here in the chart. We'll be challenging that resistance up here in the chart. We have established a higher low here now, so we do have that possible upside trend to occur, but we also also want to keep in mind we still have this big range in here where we could 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 continue to consolidate in the Nasdaq that would be assuming we cannot push through this resistance if we can push through that resistance remember we still have that resistance high up here to challenge us in the Nasdaq so watch that closely um, again watch for that possible gap up pop and drop pattern here if um, if we kind of lose ground with the morning um, data coming out let's also take a look at um, our Russell IWM 
IWM tested lows down here and as I thought we we actually set a new low yesterday so we officially have a downtrend here in um, IWM where this created a low a lower high and a lower low and as we're surging back we're going to want to watch Russell pretty carefully because there's an awful lot of price resistance in this chart and so watch that carefully as we rush back up to try and challenge on a on an aggressive interest rate increasing fed so kind of an interesting situation to be dealing with here in the market how will that play out your guess is as good as mine let's take a look at our uh, vix this morning now vix pulled back nicely yesterday we still have this little upside trend to worry about here but i gotta believe that with this big gap up this morning the vix is going to fall here pretty substantially today so watch that carefully that is that's assuming that they can continue to hold the bullishness here in the market you know it's kind of interesting um the japan um uh, the, the Japanese market rose um, over 2% yesterday, almost as if they were celebrating the Fed um, um, aggressiveness and um, possible interest rate increases. And we're seeing some really big bullishness across the board in Europe this morning, even as their um, central bank raises rates so kind of an interesting situation but here in the VIX let's watch that closely if we drop down into these levels break that trend we've got some support levels down in here um, to um, to potentially um, stop us from following all the way to the bottom but who knows we're setting new record highs in the spy no reason to believe we couldn't go all the way through and make new lows in the VIX the way we're acting this morning let's take a look at our uh, T2122 now our T2122 yesterday was indicating we were in that bearish reversal zone or excuse me bullish reversal zone and when that news came out we started to surge to the upside you can see we moved substantially back up toward the mid-range so we kind of went from that oversold area here to that mid-range in t2122 now here's the problem with the big gap up guys with the big gap up we could be pushing right up here into the overbought area really really quick so um, it's that all or nothing market thing that continues as we continue this whipsaw now when we move these big point moves like this there's nothing about that that says a healthy market it's a an emotional market market and um, we have to be um, really careful because those swings can be very punishing if we were to happen to reverse or just continue to just surge and extend to the upside um, in the move um, that puts an awful lot of risk to stop losses in the market so be kind of careful here as we try to surge back up here we could extend this out really quickly to the upside and what's interesting on that is if we take a look at our T2108. Let's take a look at that. T2108, those stocks moving above their 40 day moving average, even with that rally yesterday, moved up just ever so slightly on the day. It may move up even more today. So think about this, guys. We're setting new record highs in the SPY with. 26%, 27% of our stocks above their 40 day moving average. Remember, we set new record highs in the market when we were up here. We set new met record highs in the market when we were up here. We set new record highs when we were up here and here. And now we're setting a new market high in the SPY with that many stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. I can tell you, it is an odd situation to be looking at for sure. And if we take a look at it, T2107, T2107 did push back up yesterday, those stocks coming up back up out of those bottoms. But we have a very interesting situation here in the fact that we are still moving in a massive downtrend, only 37% of our stocks above their 200 day moving average. And even if we surge up today, just notice we'll be running into price resistance levels in this chart. And here again, we're setting new record highs in the SPY with 37% of our stocks holding above their 200 day. Um, pretty darn remarkable if you ask me. So be a little bit careful and cautious. Our T2101 
interestingly enough, surged up yesterday. So we had this push up. That was that market breadth. We had that little bit of selling in the market and it didn't quite recover that, pushing that market breadth back down. Now, it'll be an interesting thing to watch here. We are still holding elevated in that market breadth. Um, watch out if those bears were to re-engage for some reason, um, that's where we could run into some problems. So watch closely. And then let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, we do have a big morning here of data to digest. We're going to be looking at housing starts and permits. We're going to be looking at uh, uh, jobless claims, the Philly Fed Manufacturing Index, industrial production, and PMI Composite Flash. All of those are potential market moving events that, well, certainly could um, provide um, additional bullish energy or bearish energy. So watch them carefully and be, you know, what makes this a little bit dangerous is the fact that we're coming into these market moving events as we're trying to gap huge in the market that buying energy coming in um, be really careful these could um, stop that progress really quickly or it could enhance it a bunch so if you're on the short side of the market um, you could get squeezed pretty hard today then let's um, keep in mind we've got petroleum status out here I'm uh, not petroleum um, natural gas report and a fed balance sheet which as we know just doesn't matter and then if we take a look on Friday we don't have much going on on the Friday calendar um, and uh, except for that quadruple witching. We've got all of these options, um, index options, futures um, coming to ex, uh, into expiration. So watch that closely. We typically see some interesting price gy gyrations around days like that. So be kind of careful. In fact, my old mentor used to say a day like this is not a day to be buying up stocks. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but because I have done it, I've broken that rule. But I got to tell you, um, it is worthy of noting that we could see some odd price movements as institutions um, um, reset positions and um, hedge themselves in the market. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, oh, wait, we better take a look at the um, earnings calendar. Earnings calendar, we do have um, a kind of a light day today, but we have some big names reporting that could move the market around here. So take a look at uh, this earnings report. Only about 15 companies on the calendar today, but we will hear from Adobe Adobe later today, so keep an eye on that. Adobe's been moving in a little bit of a downtrend, broke this support in the chart. A little double bottom in there as well, so watch that closely. That could be a very important report for Adobe. Also keep in mind, I've been mentioning FDX to uh, be watching it. Now FDX is going to make its report today. Now overall this has been in a, whoa, sorry, change tools on me. This has been in a real long downtrend as you can see see here in the chart, but we've been trying to hold some support levels, trying to perk up. We have this little higher low that could be um, uh, challenging this downtrend in the chart. So it could be a very um, important report whether or not we'll pop through or whether or not we fail at that trend. We're also going to hear from JBL. JBL. Let's go JBL. There we go. JBL this morning looks like we're getting a nice gap up already in JBL. Now possibility that we'll attack these all-time highs and maybe even potentially break out. If you guys want to catch the full list of notables, just click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch them all. If you... Um, have stuck around this far how about we take a look at some stocks that are setting up and before we do that if you can do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube also click that click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you feel these videos are worthy please do me a favor click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow i want to apologize yesterday i got so involved in uh, 
um, working with the members of Right Way Options and in, in some some education yesterday that I um, didn't get a chance to answer comments yesterday on YouTube. So I do apologize. I will be back on the stick today. So thanks everyone who does take the time to do that. It I truly truly appreciate it. And thank you to those who continue to support the channel with buy me a coffee. You guys are awesome. Awesome, awesome, thank you so much. Let's take a look at some of these stocks and remember these stocks are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're gonna to have to be a little bit cautious and careful today with the, with the volatility anyway and the big moves in the market. But make sure you're following your risk tolerance, your risk tolerance rules and you never ever blindly follow someone else's trade. Let's take a quick look. Um, VALE, this is an interesting looking chart. I, this was brought up by one of the members of Right Way Options to the room, so I'm not even gonna take credit for finding this, but a really nice looking chart. Notice this nice little consolidating move out here. We're holding in an upside trend. That's looking very, very bullish. And if we take a look here, we're, we've broken through some resistance levels in the chart looking good to the upside so keep an eye on that this is what we call a rounded bottom breakout this is where that stock breaks above its 50-day moving average notice all of those shorter term options start to round up and we hold in this area and one of the uh, patterns I love is when we rest up here. Notice that that 50 day moving average is flattening out, starting to turn up. So we cr what we're really doing in here, if you've ever heard the term moving average squeeze, we're moving all of these averages up underneath here to provide potential support. That possible squeeze could come into play. And the ultimate target on these is all the way up there at the 200 day moving average. So watch that, we'll hit resistance levels on the way up for sure. But if we can push on through, 200 day would be an ultimate target in that trade. So pretty interesting chart, watch that closely. Um, you might also wanna take a look, I mentioned CME yesterday, and actually I did a whole bunch of drawing on this. We were teaching and, and talking about this yesterday in um, Right Way Options. So if you take a look at CME, notice CME holding some support levels here in the chart, um, trying to get going here to the upside, watch that carefully. I have placed a price alert on this chart just right up through here and I'm waiting to see if that can pop on through and get moving so keep an eye on CME looking pretty good overall and um, holding up really really well considering the volatility of this market guys I would be remiss if I didn't mention some of these uh, defensive sector stocks um, pretty darn amazing first off let's take a look at xlu xlu utilities surging yesterday on the higher in um higher or more aggressive um fed a real interesting situation and this creates a breakout here in utilities a substantial breakout now i wouldn't want to chase this what i'd want to do is i'd want to wait for a little rest consolidation pullback something like that to establish my trend but watch that pretty carefully here um, it's interesting that while the markets are surging up and we're getting this idea that everything is bullish that the all clear has been sounded we're seeing a massive rotation into safety trades take a look um, at, at some of these others let's look at like CPB Campbell Soup, not exactly the kind of stock that you'd be thinking that should be surging in this market, but we've come strongly up out of this bottom. Now, this thing is volatile. I'm not telling you that this is a good trade, but what we're seeing is this rotation into dividend payers and safety type plays. Now, with the market surging today, these could get punished a little bit, but that would be the pullback or the consolidation that could set up the new entries in the chart. So keep an eye on that. If this can rest right in this area, rest against that resistance, and then push on through, it might be pretty interesting to take a look at. Take a look at this old boring company, Colgate Paul Olive. Look at the surge here in this. Now, the only way we can get these big big old lumbering defensive stock companies to move like this is have institutional support. There is a rotation going on moving toward safety. So this is another one of those red flags to be careful rushing in this morning. This big pop up this morning could be just the opportunity for institutions to sell so that they can continue to rotate 
into more of a safety um, stance in the market. So watch that carefully. Um, Colgate Palm Olive up strongly. I wouldn't chase it, but a rest or pullback sets up an opportunity. As you guys know, I've been mentioning PepsiCo, and this thing is just uh, phenomenal. Pushing up, holding um, resistance, or, um, holding support. There's that push through resistance and hold, and then stretching on up to the upside. Take a look at Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola moving up strongly. You might want to take a look at Pfizer. Pfizer really, really strong in that drug sector, not truly classified as a defensive sector stock, but um, in that old, boring, stodgy company uh, place, big divvy payer moving up strongly. Take a look at Walmart. Walmart moving up strongly, again, in that defensive sector area. So look for a rest or pullback in here for that next opportunity to the upside. And I can just keep going on and on. Take a look at Hershey. Um, not what you would consider a newsy company, um, but oh my goodness, what a big strong move here. This is rotation, guys, and that makes should make you just a little bit concerned about chasing into the high flyer names because it looks like the institutions are making that role. So watch that carefully. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Um, kind of an odd situation here in the market. We'll see what happens today. It's I got to tell you, um, the, the lately it's been just been kind of like a coin toss. Which way the market's going to go? Maybe we can get a follow through day today. Maybe we catch a pop and drop. I don't know, but watch this carefully. The price gyration suggests that there's considerable danger here. So plan carefully and trade wisely. Everyone have an awesome day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a great one.